I'm Mary Denchema, and I'm here with... I'm Zane Probst. So to start off, you transferred from Seton Hall to the University of Alabama. Can you talk about that change for you and the differences and playing atmospheres now that you've experienced a true SEC baseball experience? Yeah, for sure. I mean, just kind of everything about it's really different. Um, very grateful for my time that I spent at Seton Hall, obviously, just getting my feet wet in Division One baseball was just a really awesome experience being there. But um, the game kind of just totally changes. You know, everybody talks about the SEC and every baseball player, I kind of feel like wants to be in the SEC. I mean, that's everybody's goal. Um, but when I got here, it was just crazy. You know, I went from playing in front of crowds of maybe – 100 people at a home game in front of five to 8,000. Then you travel on the road to like places like LSU last year, Arkansas, where you're playing in front of 11,000, 12,000 people. And then, you know, when just going into like the tournament aspect, like after regular season, we played at Hoover um, at the Met in the SEC. And I think our game against Vandy was like the attendance record. It was like 15,000 people. So kind of went from playing like in front of small crowds to bigger crowds. Obviously the baseball is just a lot more competitive. I mean, you're playing with the best guys in the country. So it was just a complete turnaround and um, I'm just super grateful to be here. And you handled that change extremely well with such a successful debut season. You were ranked second with 19 appearances, 22 strikeouts, and you had a 4.08 ERA. How did that inaugural season shape you into the player that you are today? Yeah, for sure. Um, I think, honestly, my sophomore year when I was playing in the Cape, um, obviously there's a big hype around the Cape Cod League. I mean, it's the best summer baseball league in the country, and you're playing against the best uh, athletes there. So, um, I mean, kind of I had, like, a really good season up there. Um, I made the all-star team. I just had a really good year. And, I mean, kind of being up there and doing what I did – um, kind of just instilled like a confidence in me to be able to come down here and be like, all right, you know, I can compete with the best and I can, I'm going to be fine just uh, playing baseball in the SEC. Um, you know, at the end of the day, it's the, it's the same um, no matter what division. I mean, you're 60 feet, 90 feet. So I'm um, just playing between the lines. But um, yeah, I mean, it was really awesome just coming here. Everybody was super welcoming, um, just made me feel right at home. I mean, Coach JJ, uh, our pitching coach, just kind of you know, always instill that confidence in me, believe me, because I mean, he obviously recruited me here for a reason. So just having that and then just the support of your teammates is really good. So just going out there and just, you know, throwing the ball over the plate and just seeing what happens is really the only thing that you can do and control at the end of the day. So it was really awesome. For real. And on the topic of Sweet Home Alabama, how do you feel about Saban leaving? I got to ask. Yeah. I mean, it was it was like the craziest day ever. We were actually in the football indoor. Um, We were doing like a little conditioning circuit and one of like our student trainers was like, yeah, Saban just retired. And we were like, shut up, man. Like, there's no way like that guy's never retiring. Like he's going to die here. And uh, he's like, no, it's for real. And then we all afterwards rushed back to the locker room, got on our phones. And like, I mean, I grew up uh, 20 minutes from Penn State University. So I, like, I'm a big Penn State fan. So, I mean, obviously, since I've been to Alabama, I've became an Alabama fan just by trade, like just being here. And I mean, it's awesome experience, but like just seeing the looks of the guys on our team who've been grown up in Alabama, have been Alabama fans their whole life. I mean, you would have thought like they saw a ghost, like it was just the most insane thing ever. And then like going in front of our dining hall, there was cops everywhere, like guarding the door of the football stadium or the football uh, locker room and stuff. And then there was like TV companies just everywhere lined with like reporters and stuff, just trying to get a little snippet of any players that walked out of there or uh, saving himself. But yeah, it was just crazy. It was like, it was like this place was very sad for about a week until they found a new coach. Like you could just see on everybody's face, like nobody knew what was going on. It was, it was actually really crazy to see. Wow. And <laughs> this is almost baseball's chance to say that football isn't only Alabama sport because y'all came up yeah. ranked number 19 in the preseason poll by D1 baseball. How do you think that ranking reflects on the team that you're building out in Tuscaloosa? Yeah, I mean, it was a big shout out and testament to the guys last year on this team that kind of got it started. I mean, Alabama's program has always been solid, but, you know, we haven't gone to a super regional. And I think it was since like 2006, maybe or something like that. We hadn't hosted a regional or since 2006. Um, so just a big testament to the guys and like the atmosphere or the culture and like what we built last year coming into this year. You know, we have a big coaching change. Um, those guys are absolutely incredible. Coach Vaughn. Uh, Coach Papio, Coach Morrison, JJ, all of them who came along um, from Maryland, just crazy, crazy guys. And just the energy that they have is just 
unbelievable. And I've never really played for like team like that or coaching staff like that. Um, so we have a 26 new, new guys, including transfers and freshmen. So that's a big change. We lost a lot of guys last year, but, um, just the work that we put in every single day here, we definitely deserve to be in that, that ranking. I mean, obviously you got to gain respect and earn it. So it's not given to you. So I mean, we still have to go out there and prove this year, but just like, just being here and knowing what I see every day, day in and day out, I think it's going to be a really good season. There's going to be a lot of people surprised when they see Alabama on the top. So we're coming for it and we just can't wait to get started. Definitely. And stepping away from the team aspect, from a personal level, what can Tide fans expect to see from you on the mountain this season? Yeah, um, for me, I mean, I'm just going to go out there, compete every single day. Um, every time I'm on the mound, I just, you know, throw the ball over the plate and just see what happens is really all you can do in this game. I mean, baseball is definitely a very hard sport and, you know, some stuff is out of your control. So you got to control your controllables. But I think, I mean, every time I'll step on the mound, you're going to get somebody that's going to be in the zone, somebody who's going to compete and just be full of energy. I feel like that's kind of my playing style and that's how I just I like to be, you know, kind of that guy that will is a little emotional out there. I mean, in a good way, like you're going to see me after a big strikeout or something, give a big pump up and, you know, fire up the guys. But that's just kind of the game and how I've been raised and how I've played sports my whole life. So definitely going to get somebody that's very consistent, just competitive day in and day out on the mound. Well, we're so excited to see you this season with the Tide. And to close out this interview, can I hear your best roll, Tide? Yeah. All right. Ready? Roll, Tide. <laughs>